Well, I'm in the holy freaking city of uh, Jerusalem. It's after 7 p.m. The Sabbath came in. I'm not supposed to film here, but I am. So today's video is going to be very interesting. So stay and watch what happens. I was actually thinking of finding like a really special, cool place to to make the video since we are in Jerusalem. Uh, and then I saw this ball thing here, um, this magical sphere of water uh, that made me think that this might just be like a really, really good place to make this video. So the topic that I wanna discuss with you today is uh, what I call trusting in light. And from there, finding your inner stillness within. So I'm gonna keep uh, the video right now uh, while relocating to a better site. Had the intuition that, you know, it could be better. Uh, I'm in Jerusalem, it's an amazing view. Although I'm in the industrial area, I wanna get it. Um, topic for today's video really relates to a video that I made a couple of months ago that I called the enlightened perspective uh, again I'm still looking for like a place to film that would be good um, hoping I don't veer off into the religious areas accidentally where you might literally get stoned <laughs> for being with the phone especially like me you know I'm like this with the phone um, yeah but, but you'll definitely get a good view from me so regarding the topic of uh, trusting in life and being still, the main meaning that I'm trying to put behind it is not feeling the need to always control events, um, trusting events to turn out not necessarily for the best of your interest, but the way they should turn out. Well, so this is like the best kind of uh, view that I could have uh, arranged for you in the time I had. Uh, like I said, I recorded today like another one and a half, you know, like 90 minute video. So I did my, I did my shit today um, and I'm going with uh, my girlfriend to her family's dinner soon. So it would be a bit of a problem right now, really going far and looking for a great place. Uh, but we'll use this chance to make the video. I'm sorry if there's a bit of wind. Um, try to bear with me here. If I see too much wind, I'll just skip the video a bit, so don't worry about it. Um, anyway, the topic, this is the final time I'll say it, is about trusting in life and being still. This is a spiritual deep topic, but it also relates to every other aspect of life. So what I noticed is that you have two modes of how you can uh, m you know, live life, you could say. Um, you could live in the trusting way where you put your faith in life. You know, it could be God or life itself or intuition, whatever. Or you could live in a constant state of reaction. And uh, the easiest way to know which one you live in is to see how much peace you feel at any given moment. The more you trust life, like the animals, the more uh, you have stillness within, the less you feel the need to think, you feel more calm, um, everything is just more still, and you notice that reactions, let's say in a conversation, they come out of their own accord you don't feel the need to react to everything uh, if it's your business you don't feel the need to micromanage everything you just trust that whatever it is about the business if it needs to be taken care of it will and again it's just a very minimized mode where you focus more on the being you know just actually being here and you trust that the action will arise naturally whereas the opposite mode says I'm focusing on the action and always 
doing whatever it takes to make sure nothing goes wrong. And then when everything is good, then yeah, sure, I can have a bit of that being stuff, you know, a bit of that stillness shit. <laughs> the more you allow things to be, the more you let things happen, uh, let's say a bad emotion comes up, you don't resist it, somebody annoys you, you shut up, you don't talk. Uh, your business, you know, the more you don't have to meddle every second what happens, you know, with your social life and Facebook, the more you just let it be. The more things will usually uh, turn out uh, better, sometimes yes, sometimes no, but usually things will improve vastly when you stop putting energy into them. People will love you more, will feel more connected to you, the less energy you put into animating yourself and just the more energy you put into like just being there with them. And the best way to physically characterize this, to actually in, on an actionable level make it happen is by just choosing to not take action, not do things. So, you know, you see that food looks very tasty, you don't eat it. You, you know, when I really want to say something right now in the conversation, you don't. You want to close the video, you know, fuck the video, I don't want to watch it anymore. You calm down, you let the video be. Uh, you know, the, the business, like, oh, I need to look at this and look at that. You don't. You let it be. Now, don't confuse this letting things be with uh, complacency or with I'm too good for this or with um, but you know bottling it up you know soaking it in like oh god this is so bad why do I have to no it's about letting go and deciding to not react in situations to let things play out you know if an action needs to be taken it will be taken and the more you minimize yourself the more you you know don't respond to situations unnecessarily if it's verbally if it's an action level the more things will naturally go well like you'll have a conversation with somebody he'll start or she will start saying something that you really don't understand that you're like I have to say something about this now but you you like okay I'll listen I'm, I'm not gonna listen to that feeling and just gonna be with her or be with him and just listen the more you can do that you know suddenly you realize like oh this person is talking about their thing like they're going through their own process right now and they're just saying what they need to say to help themselves like it's not about me or you know if it's the business um, you let go of it a bit you know you you don't feel the need to always do things and change things and check things and then suddenly you actually start focusing on things that matter whereas before what you did was focus on things that didn't matter put 90% of your attention there and then you were so drained that you barely had any energy and attention left for the things that actually mattered so again this is a way of life that is a lot more complacent, relaxed, just still. Okay, even me doing the video, there's two ways I can go about it. It's like, oh my God, what do I say? What do I do? Blah, 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 blah. Or just let the video be, you know? Words come out, words come out. Words don't come out, they don't come out, you know? It is what it is. Maybe next time it will be better, maybe next time it will be worse, but again, letting it be letting it be let your business be let your relationship be let your everything be <laughs> let your life be and when you're able to do that action to do that letting go gradually you start to trust in life more and more and more and you will feel that deep stillness within arising that the feeling of peace whoa you know I don't need to think anymore I need to run I can actually be in between actions it doesn't have to be a continuous stream of actions you know you can listen to the birds you can 
even listen to the cars if you know the annoying noise of the cars is suddenly not so annoying when you let things be this is how you create a living where it's um, smooth where there's not much drama where there's not no, no taking things personally where you don't need disasters because disasters usually come to those that need them they need a bit of shaking up if it's your business failing a relationship getting destroyed when you come from the right frame of mind you don't attract these uh, nearly as much because you just don't need them because life is going to give you what you need so put aside whatever it is right now that's bothering you that looks so important that you have to do it right now and don't do it just let it go and realize that what needs to happen will happen whatever it is that requires effort to do you're not going to be able to sustain it you're only going to be able to sustain the things that happen naturally so be still breathe relax let it be you don't have to react you can just sit there if it is required you can even feel bad and just not do anything about it stay with the bad feeling stay with the need to react just be aware of it and see what happens because you'll see yourself not reacting not trying to do anything not trying to resist and things just work out that thing that scared you that call that situation it will be solved on its own that drama you had you can't have drama if you don't feed the drama I mean you can but the people who have drama with you even when you don't do anything are probably not gonna stay there for long in your life so this is Jerusalem this is the industrial area it's not very cool or very nice it's just a regular area hopefully tomorrow will take you to some more cool places. So thank you for being with me in this uh, lesson. Um, please, if you can, even once the video ends, try just sit there and not immediately close it, go to the next thing, the next thing. Try just not do anything for just maybe just 10 seconds, or maybe five, maybe three, maybe one second. But just don't do anything once the video is done. Just breathe and be there and you'll find that you actually feel better at that moment than anything that came before it no matter how funny or good it was this is the message for today peace be upon you peace i need to learn how to pronounce peace better but you got the message thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't bye bye